have the official draft summary and full translation English please that was English for Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter 64 but first off big shout out to Dragon Ball Hype for always having this content available for us now with that being said please go ahead and grab a snack don't forget to subscribe and like this video as it helps with the growth of this channel but now let's get to the good stuff Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 64 The Galactic Patrolman Son Goku As the Galactic Patrol ship fly through space, one of the Galactic Patrolmen suddenly feels as if he's lost something important. Back on Earth, Jaco is confused and questions if Mirus has died. He sees Goku clench his fist. He asks if Goku is alright and Goku says he learned another important lesson from Mirus, which is that he's not fighting alone. And I think it's funny how everybody keeps forgetting about Jaco. We saw Whis forgot about Jaco. Now the Galactic Patrol Commander forgot about Jaco as well. I'm wondering if Jaco is supposed to be on Earth at the battlefield for some sort of reason. Then, Beerus and Whis are watching from afar. Whis comments that it's simply a matter of Goku being able to control his feelings or not. Then, Goku says to Jaco that in this fight he got saved by Vegeta, Dende, and even Miru sacrificed his own life. But the difference is, they didn't do it for their sake, but for the sake of the universe. Now I think this is interesting because Whis is telling us that it's all a matter of Goku being able to control his feelings. But we know Goku is on his feelings right now after seeing how Angel Mirus got eradicated of this world. But it seems like Goku is taking the moment to get motivated for all the actions the Angel Mirus took while he was at the Galactic Patrol and that may be the key for Goku to control his feelings as he does not longer get mad but inspired by the sacrifices of others. Then the summary continues with Goku clears his head and then asks Jaco why he joined the Galactic Patrol. Jaco replies he joined because he wanted to protect the peace in the galaxy and because the uniforms looks cool. Goku says Mirus said the same thing too. He said that right now he's a fellow galactic patrolman like Jaco, who is trying to protect the universe from Moro. Moro suddenly flies above. He's pissed because Mirus just beat him with some unknown technique. Which makes me wonder if Moro is thinking about the hand that he left behind after successfully grabbed Mirus by the neck. Not to mention that hand got the only crystal stone that hasn't been broken yet. Is he thinking about getting that hand again to be able to successfully counter attack Mirus ceiling technique? Back to the summary. Goku tells Jaco to fall back. Moro lands and asks where Mirus went. Goku says he's gone. And right now Goku is the only one who can beat Moro. Moro says that Goku still saying the same nonsense as before. Goku replies that this time it is different because he just inherited Mirus' will and then he just starts to power up. And the Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 64 draft summary and full translation has come to an end. And this is super cool. We got we saying that it's all matter of Goku being able to control his feelings. Then we see how Goku somehow, some way, he is enraged with what happened with Mirus, but then he starts remembering Mirus for the good things that he did, and he starts admiring the heroism on angel mirrors to the point that now he has controlled his feeling and has allowed him to have some sort of control rage mode and i'm saying this because it doesn't seem like it is ultra instinct his hair still black and 
is spiking up as if he was Super Saiyan, but he's not because his hair still black and neither is Ultra Instinct Omen. Also, what do you think about Lord Moro that he's pissed because Angel Mirus beat him with some unknown technique? Do you think he will go back to that hand that is left on the battlefield after successfully grab Angel Mirus by the neck? Do you think he will try to explore on Angel Mirus technique by acquiring that hand back and absorbing all new abilities from the angel in training, Angel Mirus. Or even worse, do you think Lord Moro will eat the hand just like he ate 7 3 and acquire a new form to be able to counter attack the Z Warriors? And what about Lord Beerus? Will he step into the battle just in case Goku don't get to control his feelings to be able to master the Ultra Instinct at will? And what about the Great Lord of Lords or Vegeta? To be honest, I don't think this is the finale yet. But please let me know what will happen on Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 64 by forcing your theory down below the comment section. But most important, don't forget to like, comment, hate, and subscribe so you don't miss your latest Dragon Ball Super theories. <laughs>